Hello everyone and welcome back to the last part on Quick UI. We stopped the last recording while we were receiving uh, messages coming from different stations and at that time we did not have anything coming from the NCS station. We were also talking at the time about the columns of information that we have here. I think I have stopped at the partial so I will continue. I will just expand this a bit more so we see all the columns. The uh, partial stands for if a message has only been partially received or not. And then um, you see that these this is a message that is only partially, partially received. And this is an NCS message, a safety message, if I click on it. And I don't want to get into the details yet, but I will, I will show you that there is this character or series of characters denote that something is missing. And then sometimes they show up at the end, sometimes they show up somewhere in the middle, and here they are in the middle. So these are frames that we fail to receive, either due to the demodulator or due to other defect in the receiving chain or networking or who knows what other factors. And this is why, and this probably happens um, on the sea as well, um, because the ships are constantly moving. Of course, the receiving quality of the equipment is way beyond what this uh, does. But you see how the repetition plays a role. So you miss this message once, but you can go and then you see this message again. Going back to the content of the message um, or to the column. So the, this was the partial column. The station column is self-explanatory. At the time of writing this software, this, these were the names of the stations. Now Inmarsat C went through a whole um, moving on the satellites around. And these names also have changed. There are new stations. All stations have disappeared. This column is the satellite name, and this is the stream ID, which is the portion of the stream of the frames that we saw that allow us to put all the frames coming from one channel all together. So these are the channels, and then every single of these channels have a stream ID identifier that allow us to link all these packets from this particular LES station for this particular satellite together. And you can even have two stations on the same satellite transmitting data at the same time being captured here, and even those will be separate, separately represented. So there's no collision in the software in regards to the channels you receive. I'm going to move now to the last part of the presentation on the quick UI. And this has to do with the, uh, let me even close this part. This has to do with the actual representation of information on a chart. I can do, so one thing we see is that the information has a header. And here it says nav area one. And then there's a representation of that nav area. I'm just going to flip to Google Map for a second here. It's easier to see. And you see that that is my cat try, trying to time to come in and then have a presentation as well. Um, so this is the uh, nav area one. And then here you have the um, content of this particular EGC. Everything that is in white on this column is messages, and these are EGC messages. And there is a quite an extensive documentation on the web about them. And if we want to see more of this data, um, you can right click on this text here, select all text, and then right click again and say, mark and zoom on the selection. And then what we see here, the red axes are, I think the rigs, these are all rigs, uh, rig list. So this is the rig list for the nav area one. And 
quite a bit of um, quite a bit of information there on those. And of course, some of them move, some of them are stationary, uh, depending on what the day brings. And uh, what else I can show you? We can also, there are sometimes zones that come in these messages, and then we can represent the zones as well. Um, you can select all text, and then you can just try to represent, let's see, draw and mark and zoom selection. There's nothing in this one here. We see that this is another navigation area. This is Navaria, what is that, uh, 16, Peru. And then you see the shape is different. Let's try a different one. Let's try this one. This is another, yet another navigation area. This is navigation area two. And um, let's try to select and mark and zoom selection. Yeah, I, I cannot find right now an area that will allow me to create a polygon, but it will be left for you to play with. A note on the representation of the geographic coordinates. Every country has a slightly different way of representing them, and sometimes the software cannot read them, in which case you will get an a message that will look something like this. Let me not select all the text, but try to represent something that doesn't contain something understandable to the software. So it will give you a report saying that it cannot parse this selection. It's looking for geographic coordinates. And if it cannot parse anything to geographic coordinates, then it throws out this message. If you will have geographic coordinates, in your particular area of interest that the software fails to decode, please let me know and uh, we can update the code to fix, uh, to make a fix for that. I remember that someone asked um, sometime in the past and I've done it once and then they sent another report and I did not fix it yet. So it is in, in the making. What else I can say? Uh, not really much. Maybe one note on the uh, on the channels. Uh, you see, this is an interesting channel. Uh, TDM5 seemed to be about two frames behind the other channels. I was ju I just saw it by looking at it, and remember that, or um, keep in mind that every of these numbers is a frame, and they're 10,000 frames in a day, so they actually represent time. Frame zero being at midnight. So this would be uh, six, 17 seconds behind all the other stations, this particular station. I do not know if that means anything, but just a fan fact. And maybe just before closing, um, I will show what happens to the information that we log. So we have log messages, we have raw messages logged, and then we have the frames logged this guy. So if we go to um, the, the folder where we have installed the software, we have the messages and then we have them decoded and they are just the messages that we have received. And then if we go to see them in raw, they're the same messages. This time all the messages, not only those that have been decoded, but also the uh, the messages that are coming from the private channels. I will take this one, an NCS channel, and I'm going to open it in Notepad++ because I don't have a binary a binary editor here, and this is how it looks. You would need a binary editor to look into this file. And then I think the frame. I already have the frames open. I'm just going to close them and open them again. If I go to the data and the frames that we're logging, maybe we should open them into Notepad++. And then if you would receive information only from one channel, it will be easier to see. But if you actually make the font smaller, maybe this is too small. I mean, yeah, this is a good size. Um, it's hard to see. It's very hard to see. 
but you would see that there are areas of higher information density and everything that is in zero here it's it's basically it's empty uh, transmission time that contains no data i'm trying to find this one for example this is a longer line that has data up to not even up to the very end so although there is a lot of space to send information you see that there's not much information coming from in marsat c and uh, we'll see what happens in the future and how much information will be left given that the uh, communications are advancing so fast so thank you this would uh, conclude our presentation on site lc uh, quick ui and then in the next video i'm going to talk a bit about how to how we can go around and setting up a receiving system that will allow us to maybe decode all the channels on one particular satellite or whatnot all the channels are on all the satellites that we can receive in our geographical location so thank you everyone and uh, have a good day goodbye